I demonstrated how insanity is caused and permeated in predonomic society. The Comlin suffer from the Helsinki syndrome and the Milgram's, Pavlov's, and Bernays effects. The elite are inflicted with the mental illnesses of sociopathy, megalomania, schadenfreude, and delusions of grandeur. And, like religion, science exhibits insanity by choosing to enforce the will of this sociopathic elite. Capitalism is but one characteristic of every predonomic system, and it corrupts and damages all it touches. Individuals, families, neighborhoods, entire cities, governments, the environment, religion, and science. Science and technology are as much a threat to humanity than any religion. Science and technology have been truly taken over by fascists. Mad scientists and insane industrialists have declared themselves enemies of humanity. They've chosen to side with fascism over human freedom and human rights. And these crazy people are making decisions for the rest of humanity that they have absolutely no right to make. I didn't authorize any of this. Did you? Even video games were created by technicians to stupefy, numb, and addict the players. Why? Addiction is a wonderful selling strategy, and they want the populace to confuse real freedom with the illusion of freedom. When gamers are brainwashed to accept rape and violence as entertainment, they become desensitized to real-world rape and violence. Addiction and apathy are elitist weapons. Science has contributed to the corruption of our voting rights. Through a computer program called Interstate Crosscheck, and through both voting and recount machines. Thanks to scientists and engineers, elections have become easier to rig than ever before. Scientists and engineers have already genetically altered our food supply and many animal species without the public's consent or knowledge. Thanks to science, Many of these animals have corrupted ecosystems throughout the world. Scientists and engineers are responsible for the technologies that are destroying our environment, leading humanity into a planet-altering environmental disaster. Industrial pollution, plastics, the combustion engine, and oil pipelines have poisoned our environment. But the elite have set up corporate sacrifice zones. They also call them toxic zones to protect themselves. These zones are like eminent domain. They're only applied to Comlin neighborhoods, not elitist ones. What the elite call transhumanism is in fact cyborgism, and it's being sold to and forced upon us right now. It applies from statistical mechanics to communication engineering. Tracking chips in products and body insertions is but one step in creating a cybernetic humanity. The explosion of the body mutilation culture over the last 30 years was all a part of this plan. To make cybernetic implants appear less frightening, it was imperative that the elite make people comfortable with mutilating their own bodies. Body piercing and tattooing were promoted through popular culture 
to make cybernetic implants seem less intrusive and less unnatural. And tattoos serve a dual purpose. They're used to get people complacent about bodily intrusions, and they can be used to cover up these implants. The second step was selling plastic surgery as a beautification product instead of as the reconstructive process it was originally meant to be. This conditioned people to accept the selling of cybernetics as a product. But cyborgism is being used on people, not to restore, but to alter human ability. Cybernetics is being sold not as a replacement for lost or damaged body parts, but as improvements to them. Right now, body implanted birth control is being marketed to women. This is step three in selling cyborgism to the public. Make it appear as a mere medical or personal convenience. The elite are working towards creating genetically and mechanically altered super people and cyborgs to act as their enforcers. It's not enough to corrupt only the minds of elitist enforcers, but they wish to corrupt their bodies as well. Steroids are commonly used by the military and police departments to beef up their soldiers. And scientists are combining mechanics and electronics with human physiology. Soon, cops and soldiers will be volunteering to have their body parts replaced with new and improved mechanical devices. So they'll be able to enforce their police state jobs more efficiently. Furthermore, I'll guarantee you, some scientists paid by the elite have already tried to fuse human DNA with that of insects, spiders, monkeys, dogs, and no telling what else. And cyborgism is part of those experiments. They're conducting secret experiments that would sicken any ethical person, any person with a conscience. This is not science fiction, but science fact. This is just one reason revolution is so imperative right now. Before you know it, science and technology will make revolution impossible. Stephen Hawking himself is warning against this insane direction pursued by the elite. But I've been warning humanity of these very same dangers for over 30 years. Humans are sadly truly blind to the realities of their own world. And that blindness is usually a choice. Denying the reality of your environment is but another definition of insanity. Poll takers, statisticians, researchers, psychiatrists, lawyers, doctors, computer programmers, engineers, physicists, scientists, CEOs, and rich people aren't gods. Quit bowing down to them. I'll further examine this lunatic direction being taken by mad scientists and insane industrialists in my next video. Please share this video in my Equalism channel with as many non-predators as you can. Thanks.